Hello everyone and welcome to this Magic the Gathering Arena video. Now, first of all, I just wanted to apologize for not being able to upload uh, yesterday, but something happened to one of my close friends and I sadly had to spend all day and deal with it. And I'm way, I'm very, very behind on schedule and my studying, so I kind of did not upload because of that. I'm very sorry for that and I'll try to make it up as soon as possible. So what I did today was um, I played the historic challenge uh, throughout all day. So what I did was I studied for two hours and then I just uh, played the game and then that kept on looping until I just finished the historic challenge. I got seven wins which is good in my opinion and these are the packs that I won and I did not want to open them alone. I wanted to open them on my channel. So let's go with that. So I'm gonna roll to see which to see which boosters do I start with and let me get the die and come back real quick. So I have a six sided die so we're gonna roll once just to check if I take Exalon or uh, the others. So uh, one, two, three I'm gonna take Rivals of Exalon, uh, I'm gonna take the Exalon side and then the rest I'm gonna take the other side. So we roll, we roll a three so we get uh, Exalon or Rivals. So even I'm gonna take Exalon or I'm gonna take Rivals. And it's also we take Ravel, so let's start with the opening. So let's see. I'm honestly not interested at all in uh, Exalon because, like, I mean, Nazal is a control card and I was playing Esper Control, so I think it's pretty fitting. Uh, I mean, I hope this gives me a lot of wild cards so I can show you guys more decks. That's what I'm hoping for. Yes, exactly what I, <laughs> exactly what I wanted. You might just play this in a jank historic deck, so I might as well just be happy that I don't have to craft it. Chupacabra is one of my very, <laughs> very, uh, um, let's say, first magic cards. This might be good in like, some historic brawl deck based on Merfolk. Chupacabra was one of my first magic cards because like I started uh, at that, that stage. I started taking the game seriously back then. Um, we get a mythic wild card, which is pretty good for a booster, honestly. So last booster of Rivals of Exalon, let's do this. I mean, I don't want anything, honestly, from the set. Like, there's only one card I want, which is called Release to Wind, I think. Uh, <laughs> your total life becomes 15. These 15 damage to our creature and opponent controls, and that creature deals damage equal to its power to you. Nice. Nice. Something I'm never gonna play. So there's only a card called Release to Wind that I want. It's a blue card that says you can exile something, and then you can cast it. It's a 3-mana spell. Let's hope we get it. Vance's Blasting Cannon is exactly what I wanted coming looking forward look coming into this video I mean So this is new and this is new. Yeah, you always get new things in packs When this enters each opponent searches library for basic land cards and puts puts it on the land All right, so let's play a combo deck with this and Ashiok meaning your opponent gets nothing just you just play all mana 3-3 three, three. That's such a good deck honestly that we're gonna have to play it and another Vance's Blasting Cannon. So the question is, are we getting the playset or not? I mean, we need to get that playset. Let's do this. Bloodgrace Paladin is like a very bad card, but um, we might play uh, Demir Flash and uh, Historic. So let's try that in that shell. And Awakening Sun's Avatar. Uh, it's a rare I wanted from someone when I first started because I was playing Boros, Din Boros Dinosaurs. And then I kept begging, please trade for it. It was $1. I was like, please, I'll give you anything. And then uh, he did not say yes. Joda is my first Brawl Commander. And I was playing him with like a bunch of Zetalpa-like um, creatures. And I was playing, if I remember, a curse from Hour of Devastation. I don't remember what it does, but I remembered it was very annoying to deal with. Josuvas. I want to play a Fires Kicker deck because like you get to cast the card and then you get to kick it with Fires. Because like it's an additional cost, so you may pay it. So you pay with your lands and your lands are already not going to tap because you have fires and that's a pretty cool deck I want to try out. Let's try to hit corn. I want a corn. Or like any mythic. Lyra would be good. Joyra is also cool. Joyra is very cool and very on flavor. Let's try to get the other member of the Weatherlight. And Benalish Marshall, uh, last time I checked, is not a member of the Weatherlight. Please, can we hit a corn? Or can we hit a corn? Another Jordan, I mean, yeah, I can't complain about that. <laughs> Alright, so let's open up our course at 2019 cards, and I don't want anything either. Like, I honestly don't want anything. No, no, no. Scra scrap that. I want an amulet of safekeeping. Exactly what I wanted. Now, we are at 9 rares and 10 mythics, which is super good for us for when Ikoria hits. 
Valiant Knight is good. I mean, it's not the best, but it's decent. I mean, I'm not expecting a lot from this set. Remorseful Cleric is a fun card to play, like, uh, with Fall of Throne. So you play Fall of Throne that destroys all land, and then you exile all of your lands, all of the lands from your opponent's side, and then boom, he has no lands. Vivian's Invocation, what does this do? Look at the top seven cards of your library. You may put a creature card from among them off the battlefield. When a creature is put, it is damage equal to its power to create a creature and opponent controls. I mean, it's a bit overpriced if you ask me, but if, uh, but if you want to see it in a jank deck, just tell me and we'll do it. So this is new. I, I'm wondering why I don't have that many cards from these sets. So let's go with last booster. Do we hit a Lily? Lily and Graveyard Marshal. So that's going to be pretty much it for the video, guys. And let's give this small announcement of I purchased the Ikoria bundle. So get ready for that booster opening right right then. I'm gonna make a small deck deck about the Esper deck I played in Historic just to like kind of give you something to play. It's a very rewarding deck, but, it, but it's also challenging to master. So make sure to kind of read the cards well, know about the meta, because it's hard to play control when you don't know a lot about the meta. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.